Here we're asked to graph g of x equals negative absolute value of x plus 3. To do this, we'll use our transformations. Let's begin by identifying the basic graph. In this case, the basic graph is y equals the absolute value of x. Now I notice we have negative 1 times that. That produces a reflection about the x-axis. And when we add 3 units to that, we'll get a vertical translation, a shift up 3 units. Once we identify the transformations, we're ready to graph. Let's begin with the basic function y equals the absolute value of x. And here we have it. Now when working the transformations, we always want to graph our reflections first. In this case, we'll follow these points as we reflect them about the x-axis. And so here we can see the point 1, 1 on the basic graph will get reflected to 1, negative 1. 2, 2 will be reflected to 2, negative 2. And now we can graph y equals negative absolute value of x. And now our final graph will be this graph shifted up 3 units. And here we have the graph of g.